So this is number seven in our Absolute Beginner Series for Trumpet. We're going to be talking about rhythm in this session. <clears throat> now the thing is, generally when I, when I work with my students, I tell them to think about rhythm before anything else. Now we had a lot to deal with just learning how to understand the instrument, so we waited this late in our list of ten to even talk about rhythm. But from here forward, anytime you start to learn something, really try to deal with the rhythm before you deal with anything else. If the rhythm works and there's other problems, things can kind of work out over time. But if everything else works and the rhythm doesn't, it just doesn't work. <clears throat> so always, always try to deal with your rhythm before you worry about anything else. Now that we're about to build this tool set. So <clears throat> let's talk about some basic ry rhythmic terminology. And again, we'll, we'll talk about it, play through it a little bit, and then we'll look at it all written out as well. And if you ever have any trouble with one aspect of it, you know, try rewatching the video once you've seen the whole thing, and usually it'll make a lot more sense. Okay? So first thing we're going to do is talk about a whole note. Okay, So a whole note's written as a little oval, and it's a note that lasts for four beats. So what we're going to do is use a metronome here. And this is counting a cycle of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So a whole note would last over that whole space. Three, four, one. Okay? So I'm going to play a whole note real quick like this. You give that a try as well. You can count it if you don't have your instrument with you. Just one, two, here we go. And okay, so next we're going to try half notes. So if, if whole notes are four beats long, half notes are two. So as we're counting one, two, three, four, it'll fall on one, then three. Okay, let's try playing along with that. Three, here we go. Awesome, okay. So after that, we're gonna do quarter notes. So quarter notes are right on the beats, right where we're hearing that click. That's, those are our quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we'll try playing along with that. And remember, we wanna use our tongue. We wanna go ta, 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 ta. One, two, three, four. Good. Okay. <clears throat> now, if you can do all of that, this is where we start to get a little bit tricky. We're going to try eighth notes. So eighth notes happen two times every beat. So instead of playing one time every beat, we're going to play twice. So if we're counting that, we'll count like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. It's really important that they're even. We don't want to just put the and anywhere. So you don't want to go one and, two and three and four and. All even. Two and three and four and. We play, keep thinking ta 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 ta. Okay? So here we go. Three, four. Let's do one more set. Ready, and... Good. Okay. So from there, we want to see if we can play 16th notes. Now these can be pretty tricky. That means we're going to play four times every beat. So we're really going to work our tongue and go... Okay. And if you're counting that, what you want to think is one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. Okay, so let's go ahead and hear what that sounds like. One, two e and a three e and a four. Okay, let's do one more set. Ready and. Okay, if you can get through all of those, we want to try them all in a row, like this. So whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes. Ready? Three, four. Okay. 
So let's look at that all written out so we can understand it a little bit better. Okay, so here's our rhythms if we look at them all written out. So <clears throat> we have our whole note, our half note, our quarter note, our eighth notes, and our sixteenth notes. Okay, so let's just double check how to count all of these and, and hear what they sound like uh, in a few contexts. So if we start our metronome up again, three, four, one, two, three, four. If we do a whole note, we're going to think one over the whole thing. One. We see this little whole note, okay? We see our half note, if it has that stem, now it's two beats, right? So we're going to think like this. Ready? One, three. Okay. <clears throat> After that, we have our quarter notes. So for those, we're going to think one, two, three, four. Let's do that one more time. Ready? Two. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right. And for our eighth notes, we're going to add an and in between each beat. So one thing that's really important is we always want to think these numbers because each time it's the same place. It doesn't matter whether I say one or one, three, or one, two, three, four, or one, and two, and three, and four, and every single one of those rhythms, that three happened at the same time. When people play music, they don't all play the same rhythm. Maybe somebody plays this rhythm, maybe someone plays this rhythm, maybe someone plays this rhythm, and they all have to agree where those ideas all link up. Okay? So internally, you want to feel a pulse, just like this metronome is giving us. <clears throat> so let's try with that eighth note. If our beat's here, we'll go one and two and three and four and. Let's try that one more time. Two, three, here we go. One and two and three and four and. All right, now this last one, at first you might not be able to play it, but learning to count it and feel it is still really important, and eventually your lips will get strong enough and fast enough where you can play it pretty easily. So we want to think one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a because I'm too lazy to write it out four times. So one more, ready? One, two, three. Here we go. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. All right. So let's try all of those in a row. Ready? One, two, three. Here we go. One. Then one, three, then one, two, three, four, then one and two and three and four, and then one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. All right, cool. Let's try that same idea with a drum loop instead of a metronome. Okay, so this is a little bit more like real music. Two, three, four. One, then one, three, then one, two, three, four, then one and two and three and four and then one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. Awesome. So if you can count that out and play that on your instrument, you're in really good shape. So from there, we'll take it to our next step.